but welcome or welcome back to our channel. I'm Vi and together with my husband we are Vi Chalky Furniture. And today we'll be uh, re repainting this uh, cabinet. I have this uh, cabinet for a while now and it's, it's been painted in burgundy Annie Sloan and then washed with a black uh, chalk paint and uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing a repainting today. So I've got my Napoleonic blue as my base color and I'm going to use Louis blue or Chicago gray as a layer um, top layer so it will go over the Napole Napoleonic blue and see uh, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use so uh, you have to watch to find out remember that you can always follow us on Facebook Instagram and all those other social media platforms and all the links you can find below in our description box and uh, well thumbs up subscription and enjoy the video. This is the most important thing. I'll see you in a bit guys. And off we go. So white spirit and the cloth to me to remove the wax from the previous finish. So I give it a good soak for the cloth and then started wiping the wax off. you can see as well all the gold gilding wax was coming off easily as well so as soon as I saw the gold is off I knew that the, the whole cabinet is uh, cleaned well and it's ready to be painted as soon as I took the wax off the cabinet was basically ready to be painted because big uh, I used Annie Sloan products before so I knew it's safe to go over it straight away without any um, any other preparation so um, before I used the burgundy with the black wash and now I wanted to use a different technique so I used the Napoleonic blue as my best color and I used the big brush but um, because there's a lot of uh, carvings here and then uh, difficult to get into places so when I was finished with the big brush I used the small brush to get rid of the all the build up builds up in the corner and make sure that the paint will be distributed everywhere not just the place that the big brush to get into it Before I started painting the top, I sanded it down a bit because the, the paint was uh, a little bit uneven when I do when I've done it the first first time. So as you can see, I used the uh, brush strokes in every direction that I like to. And uh, while you're painting as well, keep an eye on and it build up, builds up to make sure that they are being uh, brushed off. So there's no unnecessary pa unnecessarily paint somewhere when you don't need it and because I've been using this paint uh, not paint paintbrush for more than a year it started shedding as well so I was <laughs> constantly taking the hair off the of the piece so keep an eye on this as well when you're using the old brushes Just like I mentioned before, uh, I took the small brush to make sure that the paint is uh, managed to get everywhere and uh, I use it as well to get rid of the, all the builds up as well. So, and, uh, and that was it. I used, uh, no, I painted it only once 
because I knew there would be another coat going, coat of a light color going on to the Napoleonic blue, so I didn't have the, the piece didn't have to be covered uh, perfectly. So I did have some uh, burgundy picking through my blue in some some areas, but it wasn't really ma didn't matter because it was all meant to be covered with a light color anyway. So I left the piece to dry and when it was ready I started to layering with my Louis Blue. I picked Louis Blue at the end, uh, I didn't want to go with the other color. So I used very little paint, take all the excess off and I started brushing on the blue, on the Napoleonic blue uh, and uh, you start with very little paint and basically cover here and, and there and you're going over again till you get the result that you are after. I used uh, well, different kind of strokes to make sure that the the paint will go on evenly. Just remember as well that if you think that you've got too much of a any color, you can always go back to your base color, paint it over, and then uh, correct any things that you don't like. So when I, when I finished with my uh, light color, I went back to my blue color and I wanted to add some uh, dark blue into the corners to make it more stand out because uh, just, just like I said before, uh, remember if you, if you think that you've painted um, too much of a one color, always you can always go back with the, to your base color and then paint it again and then Again, you can go back to your white color and paint it uh, in the places that you think you put too much of your dark color. So I painted the, the corners and then again I uh, went back to my white color, white light color to soften, soften the transition a bit.
On the sides, I used a little bit different technique than dry brushing because I've used a paintbrush that was slightly more loaded with paint. So it's a, I'm, I'm calling this a mix in between <laughs> a painting and dry brushing. So I was tapping the paint and then I was doing some swirls and uh, circular motions to, to mix it a bit. So it was like part partially blending, partially uh, dry brushing but you can add as many as much lighter color as you want and or you can you can add as little as you want it's it's up to you what uh, finish you are after but i wanted to i didn't want to be like a solid color so it was just so the dark blue would be picking through light blue color so it looks more like a uh, I don't know, old-fashioned jeans, <laughs> maybe that was the good comparison. But just like I said, it's up to you what you want to use. But I was going back and forth with adding more uh, light color to make it uh, lighter, the piece. So this is the look of the painted piece. So I've done the top the same technique as I showed you at the at the uh, side, and you can see some of the piece that it's waiting to be done as well. So I'm I'm happy with the way it looks at the moment. So I'm gonna leave it to dry completely overnight, and then I'm gonna do the waxing. Next day I was ready to wax, so again Annie Sloan clear wax, paintbrush and uh, cloth to take the, any excess of the wax off. So basically that's it. Make sure that your wax will go everywhere and try to do it evenly. And when you see any builds up in the corners, uh, take the wax off. Another thing that you have to remember with waxing the piece, when you put the wax on the the paint will change the color a bit, it will go darker a bit, but as soon as the wax cure it will it will go light again. As soon as I applied my clear wax, I wanted to add some gold, but I started painting with my finger, but I wasn't really going, doing a great job, so I switched to brush later on, and I didn't want to add too much, so it was just on the edges, and I did uh, some gold waxing around the, the lock and the uh, carvings around the whole piece but I didn't want to be overpowering, so little, little touches and it was, and it was finished.
Welcome back guys, so it is finished now. I think it looks a little bit better than it was before. It's not so dark and gloomy anymore. I think it, it looks a little bit like a blue jeans <laughs> it used to be. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Tell us what you think about this makeover. I think it was quite easy to do to go from one color to another with chalk paint. It's a very easy job to do. I, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please do subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up and just like I said two seconds ago, pop a comment in, a, in the comment box and tell us what you think about this uh, makeover. And I'll hope I'll see you in our next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.